Hey you guys, what's up? Father360 person here, and I am going to make a quick little tutorial video on how to install engine repaint. Uh, also install like other new locomotives, and that's about all that this tutorial will cover. I will be releasing another tutorial though about how to change the sounds. Uh, I like to renew my tutorials, or I'm going to renew all my tutorials because uh, stuff changes a lot. Uh, especially if new packs coming out and using the new AP files, a lot of people don't really understand how those work. But it's very simple. Um, it, I know it can get confusing sometimes to do this. Uh, I wish it was a whole lot easier myself. But uh, let's go jump right into this first. We need an engine repaint, right? Um, what I like to do is I like to keep a little train simulator mod folder. Um, I have one right here. I come into this and there's engine repaint sound mods. That's really all I have um, as of right now. Um, I should have a new folder in here. Um, backups. Uh, keep that for all the stuff just in case you like screw up. I've screwed up many times. I've had to reinstall my game so much. So let's come here to the internet. Uh, we're just going to jump straight to Railworks America. You can also use um, it's trainsim.com. You can also get engine repaints from here. I prefer Railworks America though because it's a little bit more neater and easier to do stuff. Okay, so file library, engine repaints. Okay, uh, Dash 9's a bit tricky, but it should be easy to bust out. I'll, I'll go ahead and do my, um, one of my friend's repaints, Sacramento, or, yeah, Sac Rail Fan or Sacramento Rail Fan. Um, that's depressing. Um, yeah. So, you're going to want to click download. Accept. And it's going to download your engine repaint. Of course, you can come... And you can look around. Uh, yeah. Ooh, uh, a New Haven dash nine. Um, uh, the BNSF Conrail door. Here's another one by one of my friends. Haha. Uh -huh. Except I cannot download this one because this one uses. Um. This one uses the. Um, I'm pretty sure it uses the, um, yes, the heritage. I couldn't think of the heritage word. Uh, I don't have the heritage pack. So some of these you need packs. Well, yeah, of course, all of them you need the packs. But, okay, we have it downloaded, so we're going to open up. I have WinRAR. Um, you can use this program as w as well as any other programs to like, open up your folders and stuff. Okay. So, I like it when it comes like this, and it just comes in a nice little folder. Just drag the folder out to your desktop, and then open up your Train Simulator mod folder, and we're just going to pop this right in, Engine Repaint. Um, I'll also do that, the BNSF SD70 Mac. I forgot I had that. So, we're going to come into the folder, into the other folder. Most Engine Repaint files come with a README. So we're going to open this, we're going to drag this over, let's see. Alright, this is the repaint. Repaint requires install. All we got to do is copy this folder, Sacramento Rail Fan Folder 2, Railworks, Assets, RSC-9 Pack 1, Rail Vehicles Diesel-9. Uh, then copy the um, dash 9 NSGOPCDX folder. Dude, that looks like that sad grumpy face to railworks engine that and also copy the cab now those are two steps that pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time you have to do to make sure that the trains work in game so we're gonna make that small we are going to make this right here match with that. So we're going to come C, Program Files, Steam, go down to Steam Apps, Common, Railworks, um, after Railworks, we're, um, 
assets RSC dash nine rail vehicles diesel dash nine all right here we are as you can see I have quite a lot of rebates so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this whole folder and open up the folder yep so just this whole folder paste right there so it's right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in to um, right here the dash 9 NS so NS and then engine and right here we're gonna go copy back back Sacramento Royal fan and paste so that's done I go back now back to the NS come to the cab view copy back engine not engine back to here to cab view and then paste so there we go yeah that should be about it for you um, double checking really when you install repaints you don't have to make a backup the only time that like I really make sure that I have a backup going is when I'm installing a uh, train horn so now we're going to go and launch Railworks and see if this worked okay we are now in a game so we are going to come to our little asset block here going to come right down there scroll down until we find RSC open up dash nine pack one I didn't double click ha huh. yeah razor mouses okay scroll down until we see we passed it it's somewhere here's an S All right, here we go. Sack, rail fan, railroad, and here's our engine. Right there. So, <laughs> the screen paint, I love it so much. I want to find out how to do that. So, here we go. Here is our repaint in game. So, we got that working. So that's how you install just a pretty generic repaint. That's really all you have to do. Now, one last thing we have to test out. Because it does it sadly for my uh, Union Pacific units. Hopefully, it doesn't do it for this unit. We're going to want to make this thing a driver. So in case you don't know really how to work editor, I'll also show you. Um, you want to hit this little dude that looks like a conductor head. You want to just click that once and then click on your engine of choice. Press the uh, giant arrow down there. Uh, it's going to load. Alright, um, this is usually the part where it kind of gets a little iffy if we jump in the cab. It works perfect, okay. So yes, this is a fully operational uh, Dash 9 repaint. All right, I already have one right here for uh, Norfolk Southern ES44 AC. Uh, so as you can see, we when we open up this folder um, right here, it, it doesn't have any other like the engine folders and whatnot. This actually has a RWP file. So this is one where you have to install into Railworks using a uh, uh, one of the utilities. So what you want to do is you want to come in here to your computer, local disk C, program file is basically where we want to get back down here, um, Steam Apps, Common, Railworks. And uh, when we're on this, the main folder Railworks, we're going to scroll down, scroll down uh, to utilities right here. Uh, down at the bottom, double click. Uh, yes, open this guy up. 
and we are you're just going to want to minus out of that leave it open because we may have to jump in and do some file management but come here to the package manner manager uh, press refresh and it's this usually if you have a lot of lot of assets installed this may take quite like a while all right so now that it's all loaded you're gonna you right here you see a list of all the acids and packages we're gonna want to click install and we're gonna come here and find our um, mod the NSES 44 AC set uh, we're gonna click open and it's going to install it for you yes score win for the team so as it's doing this what it's initially doing is it's already setting up all those files and everything that we did in the last install it's basically doing all that for us right here so now we see ES44 in this and it brings up all the assets so you know okay this is where you go if you want to get to those file folders and then these are all the folders so you can come here and you can notice okay it has the inner engine the black uh, GOPCDX and then when we come here to our cab view does it have it has the GOP um, PCDX folder so we don't have to do anything we can just unclick that and um, exit out of uh, these these puppies are already sometimes though you have to go back into the railworks folder here and you have to do everything that we did in on our um, no folks southern repaint or other one of the dash nine um, you have to do that here where you go uh, to assets and then could you and I like to do this just kind of to make sure. Oh wait, speed bump. This right here is a nasty little bugger file. Um, it's called a uh, AP file. Rail simulator is switching to use these. You need a special program over here called Seven Zip File Manager. You can get it for free. Um, what we're gonna do is right here. This is um, what you're looking at right here. Is this file? Double click on that in 7-zip and it opens it right up for us Root to get in there to our normal stuff that we're used to. Um, when you come here to audio though and rail vehicles, diesel, ES44, um, you cannot install horn mods that way. You have to do it through this way. But that's horn mods. We're doing engine repaints. Alright, so now make sure it works. Check it in game. Right, we're back in editor. We're going to make sure that our uh, ES44 AC Norfolk Southern units worked. So we're gonna come down. Ah, here they are, right here. Ready? Moment of, moment of silence or whatever. Okay, they worked. Sweet. Uh, you worked. You worked. And you worked. So they all pretty much work. Yes, I can now confirm they all work. We will. N jump in the cab of this guy and we will check to see if the cab view bada boom nice we also got the custom horns so that is pretty much how you install repaints I uh, hope you guys uh, found this video helpful if you have any questions feel free to ask you can ask in any of the comments or you can email me but um, go ahead and ask if all of a sudden a whole bunch of new different files show up and I haven't been doing anything because I really don't do any mods I'm not in the super mod mood lately so I'm not modding my train simulator as much but if you guys run into stuff where you're like um, what the heck is this crap uh, send it to me or tell me about it and I'll try and figure it out and help you guys in any way that you can I will be coming out with a uh, sound mod, how to install those, and then I will even be covering, because some people, um, it's just editor, is just kind of confusing at first when you're first jumping in and you don't know much about it, so I'll also make like an editor tutorial, you know, show you some tips and tricks in editor, um, so stay tuned, uh, see you guys later.